Hello friends, today we're going to look at how I made this music video where this character actually sings the song and it's all fully animated in Stable Diffusion. Let's play a bit. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving Okay, so what happens here is it's actually a video input of me singing and then that has been translated into animation by Stable Diffusion. So what you first need is record someone or yourself singing. Now in my example this is the original and what you need to do with this now is add color and the effects to it because it's easier to do that in input than in Stable Diffusion. So what I did is I ran it into Premiere, add uh, the Lumetri color effect. Check the curves here. And change the hue. So we're going to change these skin tones, which are around here. Into something like this. And my end result looked like this here when I was done with it. Let's go with something like this and we're gonna also up the saturation. There we go. So now it's a completely different input. Now you have the singing and you have some interesting colors going on. Now this looks all messed up but Stable Fusion is gonna take this and turn it into beautiful animation. Now if you don't have a video editing software you can use runway.ml. So here we are. You need to create an account, but it's free for the ba most basic settings. We're going to drag our file into here, and then we're going to drag that down here. Let's go here, effects, and then you can go either type, color ramp here, you're going to check color, and you have lots of options here, depending on what you want. Now the color ramps are in, in the bottom. Um, Recommend the light spectrum, the heat map's pretty cool. But this color palette seems to be very sweet for this project. So let's use that this time. Now you can see it's similar to what I created in Premiere. After you've added the effect, let's check the size here. So we have 675 by 1080. So let's press outside here, we just press escape and let's change the scene. 675 by 1080. Yeah, that was default. And now let's export this. Now the free version only offers 720, but we don't need higher that because we're going to be working in lower resolution in Stable Diffusion anyway. So let's export this. Now you can see here that our file is exporting. And when that's finished, we're going to be able to download it. Now you can see your file here. But you can't download it straight from here. So let's go to export up here. We have our file here and here we can right click and download or you can also click over here. Now let's go into the forum. So this is where we're going to convert our video input into Stable Diffusion animation. Let's run all, all these cells. You can also press runtime run all here. But I prefer doing it manually because then I don't need to stop the cells further down for rendering. Uh, this, this. Now if you haven't used the forum before, you're gonna need to download the model. And you can go to Hugging Face, download the model, and put it in your Google Drive slash AI slash model. I'm gonna paste the link below for that. This is the folder for your model. Now we're gonna change this animation mode to video input. Now you don't need to worry about the max frames because when you use video input it ignores this value. We don't want any zoom in this animation. I'm just going to put this back to 1. Since this is a multiplier, 1 is no zoom. We don't want no movement here. So I'm going to put this to 0. And the rest are just 3D values. So we can ignore them. Now here's where you're going to input your video. So if you press this files here, then you're going to go find your video input. Take this one that we used from runway earlier. And then drag that in here. Now while that is uploading, we can 
copy path here, paste that in there. Now this is how many frames of the animation we're going to use. If your video was filmed in 30 FPS and you set this to 1, you're going to have 30 frames extracted. Let's set 2 here. We're just going to use 50 frames per second for now. Now I have prepared a prompt that I'm going to put in here. We're going to just remove these because we don't want the prompt changing at later frames. We just want the man, mouth, close up, portrait, singing. And then we have our art styles. So remember to run this, the settings, and the prompt. Now we're going to change this. This is a vertical image. We want a vertical video. So let's put something like 320 by 512. We're going to upscale this later anyway in an upscaler like a gigapixel. We're going to keep the seed at random because we can't prepare a seed anyway from the video input. KLMS is great for sampler. 50 steps. Let's up the scale a little bit to 12 just to keep it more coherent to the prompt. Let's change this to FX tutorial. Now here at seed behavior, you need to change this to fixed. Because if you don't, every new frame that gets rendered gets a new seed, which will result in a vastly different image. For coherency's sake, we need to set this at fixed. And when you're working with animations in the forum, mostly you're going to look at the strength schedule value, which is up, far up at here. But since we're using a video input, we actually, we're actually working with this value here. I'm going to set this to 0.45 and then we'll press run. Now it's starting to export our video frames from, from our video inputs. So it's half the frames getting used. And after that, it's going to start rendering our animation. Now, depending on your input image and the settings, the renders here can, can closely resemble your input or vastly differ. Now, how you change this is playing with the strength settings. So let's say you have this at the one, then you would make no changes to your inputs. Let me just quickly show you that. So here you can see our original video inputs and Stable Diffusion makes no effort to do anything with this. Now if you, you would put the strength at zero, it will totally change your video inputs and the results would be unrecognizable. And as you can see here, we have nothing left of our video input. So I'd recommend playing with a value between 0.4 and up to as high as possibly 0.6. So play around and see what works for your input image. I used 0.45 for my video input and that worked fine. That might not work for you. 0.55 might be better for you. So again, you need to play around with that. I can't give you an exact number that will work for your inputs. When all your images have been rendered, what I did was upscale them in gigapixel. And then I put all those frames in as an image sequence in Premiere. Uh, here I have all my frames upscaled after running them through Gigapixel. And what's important is that you keep them numbered. So just start with the first one, have image sequence clicked in, open. And then it's important that you change this frame rate depending on what you want. So you can right click this, modify, interpret footage and change the frame rate here. Then just drag it in. And that would correspond to our original video. If you don't want to import these as an image sequence or you don't have a video editing software, you can just unclick this here, skip video for run all, change the FPS to your desired frame rate, and this run this and you'll get the file. So I hope this helped you to create your own animations in Stable Diffusion and how you can creatively work with video input. Now I'm going to show you the end result after everything I did in post as well. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing. Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing.
got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. The whole frostbite they feeling. I could tear you apart or I could go heal them. Don't believe in fate, don't believe in ceilings. I just need a taste and my mind starts peeling. I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling. Got lust for change, I just love the feeling. Uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb And I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough Cause climb Cause I'ma live life for the fight Yeah, I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight Always have a vision I go by I be in my feelings, I'ma be fine, need time and I'll soon be winning I live life for the fight, yeah I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight, always have a vision I go by at night, I be in my feelings I'ma be fine, need time and I'll soon be winning I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon 